Today, I'll be discussing one of my favorite topics, <laughs> which is commentary. So transforming your Power BI dashboards with dynamic commentary. Um, I'm really excited about today's webinar because I think I'll be able to show you the most practical and the most straightforward way of adding dynamic commentary to your dashboards. Uh, and this should enable you um, to make a big step forward in your dashboards because providing to the point commentary explanations to the data is probably the single most impactful thing you can do today to improve your dashboards that probably don't contain uh, you know, those explanations uh, and so on. And this can have a huge value for all your stakeholders, especially for your you know, management um, executives and other people who are reading, consuming your reports, dashboards, presentations. All right, let me show you what I mean by that. Um, this is an example dashboard. Uh, it's actually collected from the uh, Power BI, um, Power BI uh, community website, and it was rated one of the like top top dashboards uh, by the community. It's it's a really nice, nicely designed uh, dashboard made in Power BI, um, providing some executive insights, right? And it looks nicely designed, some like designer type of, you know, uh, color choices here and all that, um, right? But when you want to extract certain insights from it, you know, how actionable, how impactful is it? Um, does it help me as, you know, a manager, as somebody who needs to decide on, on, on my business on, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, quarterly, yearly, and so on? Does it actually help me arrive at certain decisions, actions, action items for the future? Right? What would I, uh, what would I do once I see such a dashboard? What would I see first? Okay, probably, most probably. Um, let me switch my pointer here. Is the pointer? Voila. Um, probably my attention would go here. And it looks like year over year change in total revenue minus 25%. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. Minus 25%. That's not good. Why? Why? That would be my first question. All right. So, of course, in a Power BI dashboard, I, was, I would first try to click here, uh, click here, see, you know, uh, how this filters by this year and so on. And uh, this information is probably already presented here. So I see some top countries, uh, you know, top products and so on. But would I see the explanation? Would I understand the explanation? Why the change or in total revenue? Where does this come from? You know, why did we have such a bad performance? Um, I don't know. Uh, actually, I know. <laughs> I won't get the answer. So if I just had this short little comment exact to the point um, explaining the context you know what has happened um, what has happened why uh, is my performance um, uh, so much below the plan exactly and possibly even okay what should we do now that would be hugely valuable hugely valuable so let me share another example um, where again we have some some sort of sales um, so it's a sales dashboard with some revenue costs, gross profit, and so on, profit margins. And um, switching my pointer back to, ah, it's okay. I think it should work also. Um, yeah, so, you know, what is now, um, it's my revenue. It looks, uh, it's in green. So it's 13.5%. This is good. Everything looks, looks hunky dory here. Uh, this is in green, so my business units are in green, my products are in green, right? All good. And here, I also have an explanation. All right, so excellent revenue growth in November due to the, you know, there's a reason. Due to successful AdWords campaign that was running, you know, from this date to this date. So it just provides me some additional context that I actually cannot find 
in my numbers. I cannot find it in my dashboard. Okay, even even though I, I take a lot of time and do all the drill downs and so on, this is some uh, a piece of of knowledge that was just added there, and it's 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 just beyond all our uh, you know all our data tables and uh, um, data warehouses. It's not in my Power BI dashboard. So by providing this additional context, uh, I'm just able to uh, understand the situation much much better, right? And um, yeah, uh, if, if I now even if I filter now, click on my costs. All right, the revenue was was okay, but you know costs are obviously growing, and they're growing by forty one percent. Oh no, right? So I click here, I get another explanation. Total cost growing due to increased pricing, prices of raw materials and especially electronic parts. Okay, and understand it's better. Costs have skyrocketed due to high increase in energy prices and, and so on. Right. <clears throat> so this context, this explanation can be hugely valuable to, to, to business users, to everybody who is consuming your, your dashboards, right? And then, of course, after revenue and costs, I can take a look at my, my gross profit. And again, everything will, will uh, filter. Um, everything will, will filter. I will get uh, more um, uh, additional comments here. So it's just a way, a really convenient way to provide additional value, additional insights uh, to your dashboards. And this ultimately will transform your data into a narrative, right? So this is the key data storytelling element, providing short context, short contextual information that you add to your visual presentation of, of your numbers. So what is now the issue, right? Because most most of you, most most of users in Power BI, um, they don't provide those uh, comments. They don't have the commentary integrated in their Power BI dashboards. So what do they do? They basically make a regression <laughs> and go back to PowerPoint and type their comments there. So this is the number one pattern we see uh, we see in, in, in the community, we see in practical projects, like on top of your great governed dashboards, you know, where so much work went into that. What do people do? They copy uh, the data over to PowerPoint and then they, you know, add text boxes and, 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 and bullet points and so on in PowerPoint, write it there and they have and you know they create this parallel universe of, of files and presentations with you know uh, the previous month, this month, copy of this, copy of that, final version two, and so on. With all this knowledge, knowledge locked into uh, locked in this this separate separate parallel universe that is then shared on some meeting or sent over um, an email to a limited number of users. So it's basically a. a, a a quite a valuable knowledge base that is then locked in some files with some users somewhere, right? And it's manually maintained, uh, you know, it will get uh, outdated and so on. And it's not even easy to consume, right? Because again, as a user, um, as a manager, if I get this presentation, now I have all of those bullet points here. Um, I need to read through all that, okay, and then I switch to the next slide, and then on the next slide, I have all the tables, and then I have the, some charts and some additional um, comments, and it's just getting very, very confusing, um, and it's really hard to extract the knowledge from this as well, even though everything is there, including explanations, all right, so there must be a better way of doing that, and you can just see, you know, examples of this um, so this is another example. This is slightly better because the uh, comments are actually inside, like they are sort of integrated with visuals on one slide, but they still we still don't understand which comment refers to which chart or to which data point, right? So obviously environment. So this those this commentary here probably refers to this chart. And uh, society, this block here probably refers to, to this data here, 
right? But I'm not sure which one and for which value and so on. And there's the governance, uh, which I actually cannot link to any of those visuals here. So you see, uh, again, it's, it's still not the best way of doing it. Then maybe the next stage would be, all right, actually <laughs> inserting some, some like, uh, you know, call out in Power BI. This is uh, quite a popular technique. Of course, then you need to, uh, to insert all of those call outs and every month you have to manually like move them around, move them around, change them, delete them, and and so on. It's a it's a huge uh, huge workload, and of course you'll make a lot of manual mistakes and so on. And still, it's quite quite hard to to read basically. So if you only had something like this, where uh, you know the comments would be linked to exact data categories. So first comment refers to my revenue, and I can read it here. The second comment refers to my research and development. It's here and so on, right? So everything is integrated seamlessly into the visualization, all right? And most importantly, this is now not uh, in some local PowerPoint world somewhere. It's actually, um, it actually resides in my central Power BI, you know, workspace, um, it's part of the reporting system that is governed, and so on.